And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this back to real estate development. I'm just I'm just setting yeah, it up, Adam, right now. Don't worry. No problem. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Happy, happy to happy to, to talk any any topic really. Um, so the answer is yes. I mean, in in reality, the majority of our jobs, and when I say majority, that's like ninety five plus percent are actually at night. So uh, you do lose a lot of uh, visibility. Uh, not to say you can't see anything, but that is to say that you have to be so comfortable with your actions with what you're doing that you can do it at night and you can do it in uh, conditions that are less than ideal, right? Uh, and I'll actually add one more element that I missed is the ability to work with people that you didn't necessarily grow up with, that you weren't necessarily, you know, would be hanging out with or that you wouldn't necessarily know, right? That's another element in, in military training that also translates very well to no matter what you do, right? Is understanding how to be empathetic to others that you need to work with, how to communicate with others that you know, may have different opinions or perspectives or, you know, uh, upbringings. Yeah. So with all that, you go, you get out of the military, you go to work for this real estate development company, your buddy's working at a, at a competitive firm. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get together and talk? When are they going to get, when are we going to get trained? Like when's the <laughs> training, when's the training going to happen? Cause I got to think that, you know, a lot of people say OJT, mm -hmm. right. And does it happen when your boss yells at you for doing the wrong thing for missing a deadline? Is, is getting yelled at in a real estate development office considered OJT? It's funny, you, you, you know, I was prepping that answer uh, and then you, you set it in, in your question. So that, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it was kind of funny how, you know, that was my experience. That was my, my, my partner's experience where it is that OJT environment where it's like, go th think or swim, essentially. Uh, Sink or uh, swim. That's, yeah, one of the, yeah. that's one of the construction <laughs> phrases, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you know Adam is the real deal because he said sink or swim. Exactly. I can't tell you, I've got, uh, I don't know if I'm traumatized, Adam, when you said that aloud <laughs> or if, you know, I need more therapy sessions, but that sink or swim phrasing is, uh, we don't say that. And and I'm not military trained. I've had a lot of uh, relatives that have served a lot of friends and thank you for your service, but we've got people getting trained, getting ready, getting prepared, and then contrasting with the construction industry where there's a ton of tradition. I mean, there's, there's clear ways how we do things. But what's not clear, what's not consistent is that, that training part. And I just like to, to give a little shade to the audience because we don't often have somebody with your experience on the show, Adam. That's why I'm going a little bit deeper sure. into your background, just so people could hear just another, another place in the industry where it's consistent. Mm -hmm. we, we make people come to work and maybe we train them. Maybe we, we yell at them. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, we, maybe we show them how to do stuff, right? So you're, you're pulling together all these different, you know, you mentioned RFI submittals, you're, you're responsible for what the contractor does, doesn't do. And then you've also got all the, the people, the, the future tenants of what you're going to be converting into space that you're going to lease or sell. Mm -hmm. Right. So of all those things, and you, you hit a lot of the things, what made you like walk away from that and go straight to jet that bill with your, the quote unquote quote the competition when you said sure. it was uh yusuf or joseph 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 yeah you yeah. went you walked away with joseph did you convince joseph or did joseph convince you i, I want to know i feel like you okay. convinced him <laughs> no that was that's funny um i will have a laugh about that later but you know it's actually pretty unique to what is your uh you know i think what people typically think of when they uh, perceive of a, a, a newer company or startup where well we what we did was we actually built up our product over a few years, uh, you know, for ourselves, right? So we were building it first and foremost as the operator saying, okay, you know, uh, a scheduling tool would be neat to have, a uh, project budget and bidding management tool would be good to have. How about uh, insurance tracking? How about permit tracking? And, you know, we just kept adding these feature sets over time, realizing that, you know, it was useful for, for us in our case. Uh, and then we were also, which, which allowed us to really segue, I think, to the next level was on board what we call design clients. So people in our network, you know, external uh, uh, builders or external clients in those earlier kind of beta stages, which allowed us that additional, uh, you know, third party or external perspective for us to hear their feedback and implement to then finalize our product and release it to the market. Um, and then at that point, and now like kind of full circle to answer your question, at that point, you know, we, we basically got together and we're like, well, you know, hey, wait a minute, like we actually have this fully operational product. We actually just happened to gather some clients just from, you know, network and, and word of mouth essentially, right. From being an industry. 
and we said, Hey, you know what? Like, this is, this is a uh, uh, really interesting. Let's, uh, let's, let's dive in. Let's do this thing. And, uh, we connected with, uh, our, our VC who led our fundraising round to really allow us to jump on full time, shout out partners. So shout out to them. They're really awesome. 